Next, we don't want to talk about each other. We want to talk with each other. That's what the co-leader of Germany's Social Democrats said as he arrived for coalition talks with the Greens and the Free Democrats on Thursday. The centre-left SPD says those first discussions were intensive and marked by a sincere atmosphere. The trio of parties are trying to build a so-called traffic light coalition government. This as the Conservative CDU candidate Armin Laschet hints that he might soon stand down following last month's national election. To bring us up to date, let's bring in our correspondent Nick Spicer, who is standing by in Berlin. Nick, let's start with these so-called traffic light talks, which from what we can tell got off to a good start on Thursday with the three parties due to resume those discussions after the weekend. That's right, Thomas. And, you know, we're still dealing with the aftershocks of, of the election, uh, which was the first where a chancellor was not incumbent running to take her party back into power. Angela Merkel leaving the stage after 16 years in office and her party simply couldn't stand on its feet, came in second. And we're dealing with a situation of coalition building, which sort of resembles, if you will, almost a Love Island scenario where uh, different parties are trying to size each other out. As you were saying, traffic light configuration uh, Red is the SPD, the Social Democrats. Greens is the Green. And uh, the Liberals are the yellow uh, part of the traffic light. And they do have some fault lines. They don't agree, for instance, on taxation. The uh, free market Liberals don't like the Greens policies of taxing the rich to pay for the corona bailout. They don't like the idea of putting brakes on the uh, economy in the name of improving the environment to a certain extent. But as you said, when the three secretaries general of the three parties talked to the press yesterday, it was all smiles. It was all we're working to make this uh, something that we can uh, build together. And uh, our target is build our target is to build the next government of Germany. Nick, the other big question in Germany this hour is, will he stay or will he go? And the person I'm referring to there is, of course, the CDU would-be Chancellor, the CDU candidate Armin Laschet. Well, returning to the Love Island uh, idea, the I thinking was yesterday he'd be voted off the island. The rumors before he spoke to the press, it was announced uh, there would be a big press conference at 6 p.m. local time. The rumors were he had decided to step aside to put forward some fresh faces and that he would be involved in selecting those fresh faces and the next uh, leader of the party. However, when he came to talk to the press, he just went on about the Jamaica coalition, which is another color combination involving the Christian Democrats who are black. So those are the colors of the Jamaican flag there, uh, involving once again the Greens and the Free Democrats. So not at all throwing in the towel, instead talking about how his party was going to be the main party in the next future government, a little bit surreal for quite a while, and then saying that perhaps it was time to discuss personnel uh, because it was very hard to fill the big shoes of Angela Merkel and that he would be leading this process. So there was no stepping aside. There was no saying, hey, it's time for somebody else to take the reins. Uh, not at all. In fact, he remains in the game. So this, this situation now is that we have three parties who say that they are only talking to each other other exclusively. However, we know politicians always like to have back channel talks. Um, it's not at all clear who the next uh, chancellor of Germany will be, which of course in the big picture means it's difficult for Germany's international partners to know where the country is headed. However, there seems to be a lot of efforts uh, to find that direction. Okay, Nick Spicer, our correspondent in Berlin. Thank you very much.